What is the gallbladder? The gallbladder is a small, pear-shaped organ that is tucked under your liver. It stores bile, a fluid that helps the body break down fat. What are gallstones? Gallstones are small stones that form inside the gallbladder. They can be tiny specks or get as big as the whole gallbladder, which can be up to six inches long. Normally, the gallbladder fills with bile in between meals. Then, when you eat fatty foods, the gallbladder empties the bile into the intestine. Sometimes, though, gallstones clog the gallbladder and keep it from draining. Other times, gallstones just irritate the gallbladder. If the gallstones are pushed out of the gallbladder, they can keep the liver or pancreas from draining. Gallstone type is important since cholesterol stones are more likely to respond to non-surgical treatments than pigment stones. Cholesterol gallstones account for approximately 80% of gallstones. Pigment stones account for about 20% of gallstones. What are risk factors for gallstones? We do not know for sure why gallstones develop. However, many people have bile with an abnormally high concentration of cholesterol and or calcium from which stones may develop. There are a number of factors that increase the risk of developing gallstones. Sex. Gallstones are more common in women. Age. The risk of gallstones increases with age. The condition is extremely rare in children and becomes progressively more frequent over time, especially after the age of 40 years. Other factors. Other conditions can increase the risk of developing gallstones, including pregnancy, use of medicines that contain estrogen, such as birth control pills, obesity, frequent fasting, rapid weight loss, including patients who have surgical weight loss treatments, lack of physical activity, diabetes mellitus. What are the symptoms of gallstones? In most cases, gallstones do not cause any symptoms. When they do cause symptoms, first, you get belly pain. It is often on the right side just under the rib cage or in the middle top portion of the belly. Bilary colic usually happens when the gallbladder contracts in response to a fatty meal. This compresses the stones against the gallbladder outlet, blocking its opening. As the gallbladder relaxes several hours after the meal, the pain subsides. Your pain radiates to the right shoulder or back. We call that radiating pain. You may also feel nausea and vomiting. If you know that you have gallstones but have no symptoms, you probably will not need treatment. But if you start having symptoms, you should get treated. The symptoms can come and go, but they often get worse over time. Are gallstones serious? Not usually. In rare cases, they can lead to serious problems, including jaundice, a condition that turns your skin and eyes yellow, infection of the gallbladder, tears in the gallbladder, which can lead to death, inflammation of the pancreas. The pancreas is an organ that makes hormones and juices involved in food breakdown. Is there a test for gallstones? Yes, doctors can find out if you have gallstones by doing an imaging test, such as an ultrasound. An ultrasound is a painless test that uses sound waves to create a picture of your gallbladder. Even if tests show that you have gallstones, that does not mean they are causing symptoms. Your doctor might need to do other tests to make sure your stones and your symptoms are related. How are gallstones treated? People with gallstones generally have three treatment options. They can have no treatment. This option is best for people with no symptoms. If they start having symptoms, they can think about treatment then. Surgery to remove the gallbladder and the stones. Gallbladder surgery is routine in the United States, but it involves using anesthesia, so it has some risks. The surgery does not affect digestion very much, but about half the people who have surgery have mild symptoms afterward, including watery bowel movements, gas, or bloating. These symptoms usually get better. People who have their gallbladder removed do not need to worry about gallstones coming back. Treatment to get rid of the stones, but keep the gallbladder. People who choose this approach can take medicines to break up gallstones or be treated with a device that breaks up stones, or both. Medicines only work with some stones, and even then they take time, months to years. The stones can also come back after these treatments. How do I know which treatment to have? The right treatment for you will depend on 
how large your stones are, whether you have symptoms and how bad the symptoms are, how you feel about the treatment options. Ask your doctor or nurse how each treatment might affect you. Then work with him or her to find the treatment that makes the most sense for you.